Boogie's just being rushed to the vets because he was found outside his enclosure. We don't know how or why. Um, and he was bitten by one of the wild males. So going through on New Year's Eve in an emergency, um, Larissa at Savala Vets is waiting there for him. So we've just had to bring Boogie to the vets because he got out of Gizmo Trip and got injured. And we've been surprised by this little one. So this little one was handed into the vets literally this morning um, and they were about to call us when we called them about books. So we will be taking this little one home with us as well. Um, the vet said the baby is very dehydrated, um, hence the drip, which is the line you can see in the video, um, covered in blood, which we assume is mommy's. Um, unsure what happened, either hit by a car or maybe mum was killed by dogs. Um, essentially this little one was found alone, we don't know for how long, but thankfully was brought straight into the vets um, and we will be taking home today. Um, so welcome to the VMF, little 22. Becky on her way back from the vets, there's also another baby arriving who's been on a drip. And the vets were literally just about to call us and we called them because of boogie emergency so it's a two in one today. So we hope that Boogie is going to be good as well as the new one. Meet Fritzy. Fritzy? Fritzy. Is that his name? Her name. Her name, Fritzy. Yeah, so she's been on a drip since this morning because she was very weak, very dehydrated and the vet was concerned she wasn't going to make it. But she's very much alive and very vocal. Great. Um, she was found in Aqua Park um, on somebody's porch. Uh, either hit by a car or dogs. The dogs of the people were with her okay. when they found her, so they're not sure what entirely happened. Um, she is very loud, very vocal, seems otherwise unhurt, um, but she's been on the drip all morning and she's been quite. She looks quite active, loud. doesn't she? Yes, she's grumpy. And then we'll take you down to Neverland, darling, alright? Good girl. Okay, so. Number 22, Fritzy, is going to go and be cared for with baby carer Sophie. Good luck. Alright, good luck with Boogie. Okay, thanks. Hello. And what's the update on Boogie? Uh, so it went right down to the bone. Mm. So she's done three layers of stitches. Okay. Let me hear. Hello, boss. Oh. Yeah, you just want to cuddle, don't you? I'll show you this leg. It's quite long. It goes mm. all the way past the knee. Right. Um, was it all uh, kind of muscle or? She didn't say. Stitched I everything. Think so, yeah, she just okay. stitched everything up and she said she even put a layer on the outside for him to play with. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but she said, she said, yeah, good that it, we got him straight away so there should be no, you know, nastiness. Mm -hmm. I did say we did run around the foundation trying to get dim, but she said it's good that it's fresh and that there was blood because it should be cleaner. Good. And um, any medications for him? Uh, normal antibiotics, pain relief. Okay. Did relief. he have some already? Uh, just double checking with her. Okay. Um, All right. And then yeah. we'll see what meds he needs for tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for taking him. And for our volunteers who found him. Ooh. So just doing a quick health check and confirming that she is in fact a female. Um, so she has quite a lot of dried blood, especially around her head, just here. Um, otherwise, seems healthy. Check her dehydration levels, um, but they should be fine after she's had her drip. Okay, so she is just suckling on my hand, so I can tell that she's hungry. She's got about eight teeth. So let's see if she wants any milk. So I'm just gonna wrap her up gently. Yes, I know, baby, I know. Unfortunately, our little lady is a little bit stressed. Um, she just lost her mum this morning, 
it's very understandable uh, but after her nap she has just been climbing around and crying which is absolutely normal um so i'm just gonna let her do that and then take her in for some comfort in a minute so Fritzy has just woken up from her nap, so we're now just going to give her a bath to get off um, the dried blood that she's got around her face. Um, I'm not sure she's going to like it very much, so we're just going to do it nice and quick. Hi, yeah I know, I know, We also have a bandage on her leg. So this was just where she got her drip at the vets this morning. Um, so I'm just gonna take that off um, and hopefully it should be easier to take off now that it's a bit wet. Okay. So just currently with Fritzy, baby number 22. So today is her last day of quarantine. And in about an hour, we'll be moving over to Disneyland uh, to meet the boys. So we'll meet Remy, Darby, Rexy and Boogie, who's currently in there after his surgery. So we like to sit at the window and cry. Um, so we're hoping, uh, so she likes to cry at the bandits. So we're hoping that having more monkeys is going to be better for her. It's likely that Remy and Fritzy are going to go to angle key together so um we're gonna try and see how they get on and see if they want to share a crate tonight to have somebody to cuddle with and just see how it goes fritzy has just woken up from her nap and it's time to move over to disneyland so i'm gonna get her and put her in her crate and see how she goes i think she's either gonna be scared of the boys or she's gonna get comforted by the fact there's other monkeys so we will update you and let you know how she goes Yes, cuddle time. Yes, he's very lively this morning. He was up eating and drinking by himself. And he had some rehydration this morning. You want a blanket on you? Make sure you're going to get wet. It's fine, boy. It's fine. It's perfect. Yeah, we don't like that, do we? Yeah. Okay. He's all messy. Messy boy, I oh, smell. <laughs> okay. You're going to be difficult. He looks nice and clean still. Rexy and the baby's very curious of Boogie. Stealing his food. Boogie seems a bit nervous of them. So, Fritz is moving from Neverland to Disneyland after three days of quarantine. Come on, my little girl. So he's still crying sometimes, but he's better than in the beginning. Let's see how he reacts with his new friends. So he's gonna meet Rexy, Darby, and Remy. Baby. 
Oh, Remy oh, saying hello. <laughs> So if Remy and Fritzy get on well today, they'll go in the same crate for night shift as both babies are going to be going to Engelkey together. Aww. And I think Fritzy is very comforted by the fact that there are other monkeys here. He's not happy about going back in his crate. He wants some more cuddles. But he needs to rest his leg so that he can get better and then return back with his troop and uh oh. So he's just had some lovely cuddles from Regina. Yeah, he was very relaxed. <laughs> suddenly he, he didn't want any more so I put him in and now... And Rex is coming to see what is up. <laughs> What's going on with Mr Boogie, hey? You get some food soon. Mm, you get some food soon. We know how much you love your food, Bugs. Oh yes, he ate very well. He ate everything. What? What do you want? And his leg looks okay today? Yes, he's not um, putting weight on it when he's working, which is normal, I guess. Uh, we still didn't clean the wound, so it has some dry dry blood around, but not, not much. It looks good. Here we have Remy and Darby in the feeding cage and Rexy just sat outside. So we have Darby on the left and Remy on the right. Both boys are doing really well in their feeding cage journey. They are using the holes and drink from the bottles. They're already on plus 400 mils at the moment, which is amazing for two boys. And then Rexy is still getting hand fed at the moment, excuse the mess, um, and he's on uh, about 180 mils. And then we have Boogie in here. They've all just finished eating and you can see the wound there. Thankfully it looks quite clean, um, but he's going to be in Disneyland for the next couple of days just while he heals up. As sick bay is full of sick monkeys at the moment with the respiratory virus so we don't want to put a healthy monkey with a wound in with all of our sick monkeys so he's just drinking from the bunny bottle that has rehi in he's already had about 120 mils um because he is too old for milk at the moment but he's loved all the food that he's been having and he's overall doing really well he goes on to night shift with the baby so he goes into a carrier at night and he'll go with the Disneyland lot. Darby, do you mind? This is Boogie. Boogie has just been moved into his new cage in Disneyland for the time being after he had his injury on his leg. Um, so he has just got his AM plate. So this is a seed plate with um, lentil sprouts, almonds, and then we've got a lovely fruit salad. So we've got lychee, watermelon, mango, and banana. So Boogie is enjoying this a lot. Currently have all of the babies jumping all over me at the moment. So sorry if everything's a bit shaky. But Boogie is doing well. Um, once he's had his food, I'll give him a blanket change. Um, so we want to change the blanket every shift just to make sure that it is nice and clean. Um, so he doesn't get anything in his wound. So Rexy is just up here, watching over. So Rexy is very, very interested in Boogie. Lots of climbing on his crate. <laughs> Getting very close, as you can see. Boogie will be in here for at least three 
to seven days. I'm not sure if he'd go back into sick bay or in a larger cage. He can start using that leg a bit more. Um, but he um, also, when he gets returned, he might go back into the same inch cage as Timmy and Uh Oh. Uh Oh was his mum from the beginning of this year. So he might be returned back into the inch cage and then be released into the troop when Timmy is released, which will be really exciting. And then for these guys, we want to do each of them for five minutes. So okay. we'll just put the mask on. Their whole face has to go inside the mask. Um, I'm sorry. You might, yeah, they don't like it. It's quite noisy. And it's a bit yeah, scary. So you just want to put his face in there. Okay. And then I'll put it on and time it for five minutes. And we'll go down. Rexy is just being nebulized, so he started to get a cough and a sneeze. So um, just like with our other babies, we are nebulizing, and that's the loud noise that you can hear in the background. Uh, just to help him breathe better. He seems to be doing okay. The hardest part is getting him in a burrito and for him not to bite. Becky's just taken Remy to the vets, supposedly for his uh, pin to be removed. So what happened, Becky? Uh, well, we got there. He had an x-ray and basically the bone has grown around the pin, uh, which means that it's very difficult to take out. Um, so we're actually going to leave it um, on the advice of the vet because um, it's not going to cause him any problems um, and it would actually be more difficult to take out than it would be to um, leave it. So we're going to leave it this time. Um, he's grown really fast and um, really quickly so uh, that's why this has happened. Um, but it's good news because then we don't have to have another surgery and then mm. time he can meet a mum as soon as possible. And where's he going to go? Which troop? He's going to go to Engelkey with the new baby Fritzy. Um, so he's ready to go. He's learnt the feeding cage. She needs to learn the feeding cage but she'll learn off him which will be great. So. Okay so he's going back to Disneyland. Fritzies with Darby and Rexy in Disneyland. Some monkeys are alarm calling outside and they decided to stay together. Now Remy also with them. It's playtime in Disneyland. Fritz is playing with Remy on the left and Darby with Rexy. Remy's in here somewhere. Remy's in here somewhere, just on the night shift. He was he had a high temperature today. It was a hot day, but um, we're also checking on him to make sure he's okay, because he did bring up some clear liquid um, earlier as well. And um, his breathing, just you could hear it a little bit, so... Uh, Baby team were just concerned, so I've got him tonight. Remy, are you there, buddy? There he is. Are you okay, bud? Hey, are you okay? So we're just going to give him some meds just to 
help him a bit and uh, check his temperature again a bit later on. We're gonna rest, buddy. Just with Boogie at the moment in Disneyland, um, along with all of our other babies that we've got in here currently, uh, Fritzy, Darby, Remy, and Rexy. Um, so Boogie is currently in here, as you can see, because of the wound on his leg. Um, so we are just currently taking him out um, a couple of times a day, um, just so he can have some comfort, um, some grooms, um, and so we can clean his wounds. So we're gonna just spray it with some colloidal silver in a minute. Um, but we just like to take him out probably at least every two hours, just so he can have some comfort. Obviously he'd normally be in troop now with lots of other monkeys um, and with his mum. So um, we just wanna get him out to make sure that he doesn't get too lonely and he still has the comfort that he wants. Here we have Boogie in his crate in Disneyland, Rexy climbing down the side, Darby on top, and Remy just at the bottom climbing up now. So just given uh, Boogie some extra butternut squash um, as he loves it and some more grass. And then the boys in Disneyland also have grass uh, and they really enjoy being next to Boogie, especially Rexy. He'll spend quite a lot of time um, interacting with him and looking at him through the um, through the cage. And whenever I take out Boogie for cuddles or wound cleaning, Rexy's always there wanting to know what's going on and what's happening. So Boogie has just come off of my lap after cuddles. And we're just going to try and assess how he's using that leg. So just in the back of Disneyland, it's now the end of the day, um, which is why there's lots of food in here. So once he goes back in his crate, we are going to give everything a bit of a clean around. Um, but as you can see, he's using that leg really, really well. Um, so he's walking and bouncing and climbing with it, which is great, which means that he should be able to go uh, with Timmy and Uh Oh in the intra cage. Very hard to film because he is all over the place. Currently we have everyone in the back of Disneyland. Rexy recently had a vet visit which confirmed um, that the climbing and hanging upside down um, is not good for him um, as he's been vomiting quite a lot recently. Um, so we're just in the back of Disneyland to try and limit his climbing. Um, and it has made a difference. He was vomiting five, six times a day um, for about a week. Um, and since we've been in here, uh, he's not vomited again since. Uh, so it's been you know, three days. So that's great. Uh, so you can see under Rexy, we have Fritzy. She's doing much better. Then we have Remy and Darby. And then over in the corner here, we have Boogie still. So Boogie's gonna go um, into the intra cage with Timmy and Uh Oh today. So that was very exciting news. I'm sure Mark will do a video on that. So we have Remy, Rexy, Fritzy and Darby left to right, who are just watching a male bandit outside of Disneyland. Uh, and it's very cute because you can see that Darby has Fritzy in his arms. So she's just hiding at the moment. Um, but they generally tend to uh, vocalize when they see bandits. Um, and it's good that they are going up to the fence. Darby is a bit more scared than the rest of them. Um, as you can see, he's clinging to Fritzy. Uh, but generally, Rexy is who he clings to the most. Okay, so Darby is going now. So he's going to go to James' intra cage. So Ruth's just going to put the blanket on and take him out. And we'll see how he goes. He's got his little emotional support monkey in there. Little teddy that he loves. So hopefully tonight um, I'm taking the night shift and it should be the last night shift that we have with Darby. So good luck. This is Ruth. Uh, she's currently in Disneyland holding a sleeping Remy and writing some notes. So I'm just taking over from the lunch shift 
And then over here, we have Rexy, Darby and Fritzy. Um, and it's an uh, exciting time. So Darby has been going on visits to James Intracage, um, but we've had to pull him back into Disneyland um, because we've had releases and the respiratory viruses means that we've had to pull people off baby shifts and put them on two trapping monkeys just so we get all of the monkeys the best help that they need. Um, but this afternoon, Darby is going to go to James um, and it's likely that he will meet his mum over the next two days. So he, this might be the last time that he's with Rexy. Um, might be the last time that he's in Disneyland, which is very exciting because as you can see, Darby is a big boy. He's four months old, so we really need him to get a mum as soon as possible. He's just been held back by his arm um, and then recently the outbreak. So we're going to try and get him with a mum as soon as possible before our next release, which is Skunky on Monday. So it's currently Friday, so hopefully over the weekend we can get Darby with a mum from James. But we'll keep you all updated and Becky will do a video once they're in the intricate. and Remy have just come for an afternoon trip out to Engelke. Fritzi is not very happy as you can hear um, but Remy is better. So we're just in the Engelke inch cage so we have the feeding cage, uh, the training feeding cage here, we have the actual feeding cage here and then we have some of the troop lined up to see the babies. So we're just going to let them out. This is Remy, just on my lap. And then we have Fritzy up here. So there's a juvenile at the front and then we've got a mum to the left. Um, but both babies have calmed down considerably, considerably, which is great. Got more visitors coming to the fence. Remy and Fritzi are in Engelke Intercage. It's 8 in the morning and Remy is very active. Fritzi is still crying a little bit. This is Remy. Remy is just on the training feeding cage in the Engelke Foster Mom inch cage. And then over here, we have Fritzy, who is interacting at the fence. Fritzy is up at the inch cage fence. She is confident with the monkeys. However, Remy is just on the branches at the moment and he has not been as confident. He's gone up to the fence once. Um, but Fritzy is definitely wanting a mum as soon as possible, which is good. So as soon as we can get her on that feeding cage, we can introduce her to one of the many mums in Engelke. And then Remy is just on my lap at the moment watching out. <clears throat> Fritzy 
Pretty is meeting Cleo through the fence. Cleo is one year old at the moment. A really exciting episode with so many things going on. Uh, one monkey going to the vets, another monkey arriving. It just doesn't seem to stop at this time of year. People are running off their feet. So I hope you could follow us in this video. I hope you really enjoyed it. I'd just like to thank everybody out there for your continued support. Those that are donating as much as they can, as often as they can, we really do appreciate it. The new members coming up, those people sharing, our Patreons, our people adopting the monkeys and things like that. It's really and truly making a big, big difference. We have sent some posters out. If you do see them, try share them. Try to hang them up in places where you think people will see them. We really need to get volunteers in. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. We'll see you in the next one.